Hello the athletes and people who just decide to be fit and good looking with a really good health and so on. Uh, we still discussing different kind of uh, dietary nutrition and so on. I try to provide like uh, more interesting and cool information for you. Uh, so I've been asked a few questions about uh, low protein diet. So what the hell is low protein diet? So basically some people they see it on a low protein diet, but they just didn't notice it. Um, so for high protein diet, let's say when the uh, athletes, mostly bodybuilders, they try to gain more muscle weight, they eat about two gram of protein on one kilogram of your own weight, or even three. Professionals, they eat about three gram of protein on one kilogram of their own way. So yeah, imagine how much water you need to drink. So be able to digest that protein and how much carbs for, again, for the, be able to digest such amount of protein. So people who really active do a lot of sports, uh, the uh, scientists of uh, protein, it's higher and they can absorb much more uh, and digest much more protein than like normal people who not really active and so on. And low protein diet, it's when you have one or even less uh, gram of protein on your uh, one kilogram of weight. So let's say if I'm 100 kilo, I need eat uh, like two, 300 grams protein per day. And in my case, I eat less than 100 grams. Uh, maybe it's one of the cause I'm not super fit and super lean compared to the uh, bodybuilders, <coughs> but I don't know, I feel fine. Uh, but basically, uh, I choose this diet, like, let's say, unconsciously. I try many different diets. As I said to you before, vegetarian, vegan, raw food is whatever I see, how I feel like, and so on. Okay, so let's discuss what the benefits you might get if you sit on a low protein diet. So basically, I found a little different kind of information. I made a research later on when I talked to some people who do the uh, yoga for the last 10 years and so on, and they over the 40s and they look amazing. And I thought, okay, I need to make some small research, try it and said, oh, damn, but I've been on a low protein diet for like long time already and so on. So now I just want to share it with you. Uh, if, if you can find some really cool information, yeah, just please share with me. I'll be glad to read it or watch it or listen it or whatever. Uh, so main benefit when we have a lot of proteins, especially from uh, meat, fish, whatever, it's increase the acid level in our body. If you're doing sport also, it's increased uh, amount of milk acid. So basically when you're running and you just feel pain, cannot run anymore and so on. So basically uh, some people said it increased the endurance. I've even found a few athletes who done uh, uh, Ironman and ultra marathon. So ultra marathon is like more than 42 kilometers and so on. But Additionally, I found uh, people who do it professionally with the years and they sit on normal diet. And some people, they, yeah, they try to manage like more proteins and more fat because they said they recover better uh, in this case. But I think it's a little bit personal. So I didn't found like a pretty good statistic. Some people said, yes, my endurance was increased on a certain diet. And some people said they didn't notice anything. In my case, on vegetarian diet, I feel much lighter. For example, I can eat salads or fruits and after 15 minutes, I can go run, no problem. I can do the boxing or whatever. But if I eat a lot of uh, cereals, but mostly I try to sit on the cereals or meat or whatever, I don't think so. It's no chance. Beans. So usually such kind of food when you eat need like longer time for digest and so on. Uh, other benefits you're supposed to be feel lighter. Another one if you do in sport, uh, bodybuilders know when you do some weights you get the pump. Super cool and nice feelings when you feel you growing you're big, your blood pump your muscles. Uh, Yes, it's bring more blood to your muscles, but it's only temporary feeling. So it's getting bigger and after it's going back to a normal uh, size. But if you do, let's say, boxing and you pump up, you already cannot work in the same speed. And uh, if you do the wrestling, same. You can't be like similar and make the same moves. So basically on low protein diet, you uh, get lack of such feelings. So basically you're not easily get pump and so on yeah but if you want to get pump i don't know fast carbs 
easily. Or you can use amino acids like uh, uh, arginine, works really well. Aspartanic acid, creatine, pump you like crazy. Uh, it's for opposite effect. What else? Uh, people who done the yoga, they explain me in uh, Wing Chun, whatever, they explain it's like in a uh, uh, health purposes so they notice they get less sick when they decrease amount of protein in their diet so usually people who are vegan or vegetarian they already automatically on a low protein diet because it's not that easy for get uh, let's say two or three grams of protein on one kilo of your own weight oh, of course it depends what you eat because people who let's say vegetarian eat a lot of eggs cottage cheese whatever you can get that amount easily i would get i guess and maybe so with some protein shakes and so on vegan raw foodist mm, you can but it's more difficult but mostly from diet what i saw what people share what other models share on instagram and other social networks what i saw uh, probably it will be maximum one gram of protein on your one kilo weight as i seen uh, but yeah, you can use some uh, sports supplements, but some people don't use, they said it's not natural, I use it, yeah. I do use sometimes, depend, so if training two times per day, yeah, probably you'll be in it. And I didn't feel anything like uh, any effect until I make my trainings really hard. So when I train really hard, like two, three hours or make two trainings, after your muscles in pain, your muscles get stuck and so on, different kind of echoes with your legs or arms shaking and you have not enough time for recovery. And amino acids, when I use it, so how many, maybe 30 grams, two times a day, I feel a release. So I feel this recover me a bit more. Okay, so let's come back to the low protein diet. Even uh, some um, athletes, uh, why water from a bobsleigh in Russia and some French, oh my god, look his name, who are cycling and runner. So I found a few athletes who sit on a low protein diet. Before I remake a research about the keto diet, people like try to increase the amount of fat, but many people who said I am on a keto diet, they just make it normal, 20 or 30 percent and call it keto diet, but not really what it means same on low uh, protein diet when people said oh i'm on low protein diet but it's pretty much normal to the diet of uh, some vegetarians or vegans let's say <coughs> and raw foodists some raw foodists i know they eat raw meat but on my opinion it's quite dangerous because all of these uh, worms and cells can be there eggs from different uh bed bugs or whatever so even better not think about <coughs> and uh fish same with fish or seafood i don't know maybe seafood it will be more safe i would say because it's like more natural than seas and from uh fish farm and so on but can't say for sure but even some people who eat it raw like uh, make it really low amount of it so basically it's really up to you you can try if let's say you eat a lot of meat a lot of fish you feel fine, so you can stay on your diet. But if you feel a little bit unwell, too heavy, not really alert, low amount of energy, you can change something. You can try sit on low protein diet and see do you have any difference. You feel better, you feel lighter, your endurance increase or not. So in this case, uh, you can decide it will be suitable for you or not. In my case, I don't know, I feel fine actually. Only the problem, I said, when the training is really difficult and very long and harder, so probably for the recover, need more amino acids and need more proteins than what I felt on myself. So in this case, probably I need increased amount of protein. And just for be healthy, let's say from psychologists, for uh, have enough amino acids for produce our dopamine, uh, serotonin, statin, whatever. We need a little bit of uh, amino acids, so basically we need to eat a little bit of cereals or whatever, small amount of protein it's supposed to be. So yeah, I try to be short as possible. Uh, I read some articles and it's like, pfft, it was really long explanation and I wouldn't think it will be really interesting and knowledgeable for you. I just try to make it short and just 
uh, share experience and just give you an idea of what it is and uh, what this is for. And yeah, it's lower acid level in your body, it means you're more healthy and all other bacteria, viruses, they not really stay in your body, not multiply. So it's a most of a uh, common idea why people do it. Additionally, we can do it like for the detox, just for cleaning. Let's say in all of the different kinds of religion, like in the Buddhism, Tao, um, Catholic, Orthodox, Muslim, everywhere we have a fasting, like not eating meat or whatever. So probably kind of fasting for clean our body, maybe it's necessary and people notice it before. Same we have in yoga. And in Hindu tradition, some religions, they even not eat meat at all. Some even not eat garlic and onion, what I think it's really, really necessary for eat it for keep your immune system well. So maybe uh, sometimes you can skip on a low protein diet, go to high, low, high, whatever, any cleaning purposes. But still it's really personal, so you might share your own experience, how do you feel like, what you think about, and so on. So let's say, as I've been a vegetarian or vegan, and try a different kind of dietary for last 10 years maybe. So about 10 years I sit on a low protein diet and many, many athletes, they said, look, if you will not increase the amount of protein in your body, you will not be like in the same shape like the bodybuilders. For the fitness model, you just lose a lot of weight, you get lean, easy. But if you wanna be like a man's physique or go to competitions on a uh, bodybuilders, yeah, probably no chance with that. All right, so thank you for listening. Hopefully it will was really interesting for you and much more information I will provide you later on. So stay tuned.